This is CTV News, I'm Grant Mangan. A high-profile property developer is warning that without permanent central city car parking, businesses will be crippled. Marcus Gibbs reports. Nearly three years on and the Litchfield car park building sits empty. It's been closed since the February 2011 earthquake. But the City Council hasn't revealed any plans to reopen the building. From the outside it doesn't look dangerous. Restart Mall backs onto it. You can even touch it. Rich Lister Anthony Goff chairs the Central City Business Association. He says without this car park operating, no one will want to invest in the CBD. We need car parking and we need to get our head out of the sand and we need to actually face the reality and get it fixed. The City Council might be biding its time but Anthony sure isn't. The outspoken property developer has found an investor willing to pump $10 million into repairing the building. I've come up with a proposal where I can privately fund the repairs to that car park here and council still own it, they'll own the repairs and the revenue that we should be getting off there, which is not at the moment, will pay for those repairs. It's a no-brainer. He's calling on Christchurch's mayor to release engineering reports into the building. She said oh, I should be able to get those DE reports, the um, engineering reports, but they haven't arrived on my desk yet. Um, and I said, do I need to issue an official information request? Which I will do. Goff's frustrated over other central city car parks. He's annoyed that after nearly three years, the council has done nothing with the crossing car park. He's also disappointed fellow rich lister Philip Carter's company, Carter Group, has left the crossing retail precinct in such bad shape. It looks terrible. It looks third world. It looks as it's sort of Bosnia or something like that. Spray paint from search and rescue stains the walls. Inside various products still lie on the ground. They've sat there for three years since the earthquake knocked them off their shelves. It's time for some of these reluctant landlords to actually pull their chip put out and say, I need to get on and help Christchurch rather than go to sleep on it all. But I'd like you to ask Philip Carter why he has not fixed this. What is his problem? It turns out Carter's problem is the same as Goff's, council car parks. Carter Group Chief Executive Mary Devine says the company can't rebuild until the council agrees to fix the crossing car park. And in particular the crossing development is so dependent on the council crossing car park because we fundamentally believe there's no point having a retail precinct if you cannot facilitate public car parking. Devine says the group is close to agreeing on a resolution with the council. She says the rebuild of the car park would take at least 15 months and Carter's retail development won't be ready until that's complete. Goff says the veil of secrecy over plans to rebuild council car parks is scaring off developers. That's why we've got a lot of people not wanting to build around here in the centre city because they say the car parking's not been solved. It's sitting there three years later, still empty. Both Devine and Goff want to see the council car park buildings reopen soon to help bring investors back into the central city. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.